Okay, we're going to do some coordinate conversions. So with polar, let's convert polar coordinate negative 2 comma, or ang at an angle of negative 2 pi over 3. We want to convert it to rectangular, so we do shift and rectangular. We type it in, negative 2 comma is shifted. And then we have negative 2 pi over 3. Calculators in radians, I don't remember if I said that. All these calculators will be in radians. Error! It turns out it hates this, it won't do it if you have a negative value here. I'm not exactly sure why. So that's limiting. It'll do it fine if you don't, uh, if you turn it to a positive 2. So you could use this to kind of figure out the answer, but that's not great. Um, if you want to go the other way, so let's say we want to convert rectangular to polar, we just do shift, we hit this polar, we do negative square root of 3, comma, 1, and we get our polar, so 2 at an angle of 2.62 radians. TI, to do the same thing, we'll... Spoiler alert there. All right, so if we were going to convert, and I lose track. All right, on this one, you go to math. You have to tell it. I'm hitting to the left, RP. So I want to take a polar coordinate and get the rectangular out of it. You, It won't do the X and the Y at the same time, which is hokey. But you get the, you get the X component first. Negative 2, comma... At negative 2 pi, again, we hit this key, 3. And we can get our x value of 1, which is good. And I did find this. If you want to, you can go back, grab this, hit enter. And that way you don't have to retype that part. Back up and go into math and pick this polar to ry or polar to rectangular, sorry, y, and it'll give me the y component. So I get the x component 1, the y component 1.73, and it worked with the negative 2, which is slick. It's clunky, but it does work. All right, now I want to do the other way around. It's very similar. So this time we're going to do polar. We want the, we're going rectangular to polar, and we want the r value, and I'm doing negative square root of 3, comma, 1. That's our 2, and then we can use our same trick we did earlier, just a minute ago. Grab this, and i got to go back, 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 and then hit. And this time we're going to go down to get the theta. Rectangular to polar, get the theta, and we get 2.62 radians. So, clunky, but it actually is a little more powerful in terms of being able to handle that negative on the R value. And the sharp is also does not like the negative. It, it gives an error, so I'm going to skip that. If you do 2, hit your comma. It's nice you don't have to do shift on this one for the comma. 2 at an angle of negative 2 pi over 3. And you just hit the shift. And this, I'm going, since I'm going from... I want the rectangular. I'm going from polar to rectangular. I hit this button. And it gives me negative 1 in the x direction and negative 1.73. Again, it won't work if you do a negative in front of this. So let's see if it'll let me put that in. Negative. I get an error. So like the Casio. But it's pretty quick to actually convert. So it's convenient, but not quite as powerful as a TI. And let's do the other way around. We're going to go from... Uh, negative square root of 3, comma, 1, and we want to convert that to polar, so we do do shift and hit this button, and it says 2 at an angle of 2.62 radians. It's really quick. I actually like the sharp on this, so I'm going to call this a tie between all three.